High school spring sports are in full swing, and one local team has their opponents swinging in the wind. I'm Bruce Rader. On the high school level, it's a plus to have one good pitcher. But in the case of Grassfield High School this year, the Grizzlies have two, and they're really good. Brian Parsons joins us from Chesapeake tonight with that story. The Grassfield baseball team has gotten off to a hot start, thanks in part to a pair of pitchers that are arguably the two best starters on one team in the state. We've got a lot, a lot of interesting pieces to a puzzle. What a feedback on that? Two of those key pieces for Coach Gary Spedden, pitchers Garrett Stallings and Hunter Purdue. Again, jam shot, ground ball. Purdue is a junior with a 5 0 record and touches 91 of the radar gun, and Coach Spedden warns. Don't be fooled by his laid-back demeanor. He's one that people will misread, I think. You know, they'll think because he, he likes to have a little bit of fun that he's not working hard. And he'll just get out there and grind and compete. Doesn't matter who I'm facing. I believe I'm better than them. Purdue has already made his college choice. He picked the University of Virginia after his freshman season. Their pitching coach was National Pitching Coach of the Year two years in a row. And then this past year, they won the national championship. So... Can't really go wrong with a school like that. Then there's Garrett Stallings. He's thrown a perfect game, and during one stretch this season, Stallings had 50 strikeouts to one walk. He popped a fastball in there in the low 90s and then throw a nasty changeup, slider, breaking ball. You know, he's not just a thrower, he's a pitcher, but he's a mature young man, and uh, he's a team guy. So he's a, he's a coach's dream. I'm at my, my happy place when I'm on the mound. Now. Just me versus you, and definitely, definitely fires me up when I get to go out there and every week and bring it what I have. Stallings is on the national radar. He's committed to play his college ball at the University of Tennessee of the Southeastern Conference. The SEC kind of appealed to me. I get to go to a few places I've never been to before. Get to experience some new, new places and faces. And um, There's nothing like playing in front of 10,000 people with lights on. I mean, that's something I'm ready to experience. One thing Purdue and Stallings hope to experience this year a state championship. That's been a goal for a while. Um, we're, we're trying to just take it one game at a time. Anything less than that, I think, would be a disappointment to this whole team. In Chesapeake, Brian Parsons for the Sports Wrap.